G'day and welcome to Matt's workshop. Over the past few months I've helped a lot of people remove the Top Wisdom controller from their new machine and install a Ruida RDC6445 controller or similar. Because I've been going over this uh, installation process with a lot of different people, I've put together this quick installation guide for you to follow along yourself. Now this guide is available on my website at www.mattsworkshop.net. You'll find a link to my website and the document in the description below. But for the first part, I'm going to show you how to do the main thing that a lot of people have trouble with, and that is the wiring configuration. Before you start, there are some things that you need to know about your system, and these are the homing position and the reset origin. So whether that's the top left, top right, bottom left, or bottom right. Some of the configuration settings that I discuss will refer to the demonstration machine I'm using, which has an origin of top right. The work area size of your machine may differ, but mine that I'm using is 700 by 500 millimeters. So the machine I'm going to use, the demonstration machine, has ultimate air assist, but it doesn't have a z-axis controlled by the controller, so those settings we won't go into. So make a note of where your home origin location is, for example the top left, top right. And uh, the images that I show here show the demonstration machine with a homing origin of top right. And you'll also see that there are limit switches on the top right of the axis. So when you power on the machine, the, the laser head will move up to that position for its reset. You'll need to know where yours is when you're configuring your new controller. Next, it's a good idea to power on the machine. Move your laser head into the center of the work table as shown uh, here. So now turn off your machine and remove it from the mains power supply before proceeding to do any wiring configuration changes. For the RDC6445, there are some terminal blocks that do not need to be rewired as their configuration already matches the TL410C. The terminals that do not need to be reconfigured are axis Y, axis X, axis Z, CN2 and CN4. Now I'll show an image to these terminals and uh, you'll see here that uh, it's quite easy to swap them over, unplug and plug straight back into the new controller. There are three connectors that will need to be rewired. Now only two if you don't have the ultimate air assist. So if you don't have ultimate air assist you can ignore CN1. Otherwise rewire CN1, CN5 and CN6 and the images for the reconfiguration of these terminals is here. Now once you've rewired and replaced your controller it should look similar to this however you may have extra connections for the uh, foot pedal switch or door switch as well as uh, air assist which is not indicated on this drawing. So that should get you set up with the wiring configuration of the new controller and now it's time to configure the controller itself with all the correct settings. So this guide that I've put together is uh, available on my website. It goes into all the wiring configurations that I've discussed. It goes into how to set up and configure the controller from the controller itself, but then also towards the end of the document, it will go into how to use RDWorks to configure your controller. So there's two ways you can do it, like I say, on the controller itself or by using RDWorks, and I go into all those settings in this document, both the vendor and the user settings. There is one important note in the documentation that when you power on your machine for the first time with the new controller, the configuration settings are not correct for the bed size that you have. So the laser head could jam up against the sides while the axis rails try to home at their homing position and the stepper gears can grind as it moves the axis past their limits. So to prevent this, as soon as you power on the machine, press the escape button when it says escape from axis reset. After you've pressed escape, you can then continue on and reconfigure your controller. Once you've got that all set up, then I recommend that you watch this video, the calibration of the X and Y axis for the Rowita controller. It will show you how to calibrate the step length for your machine. And then another quick tip guide is this one here on how to change the language and navigate the controller features on this new controller that you've now installed. So hopefully you found this guide helpful. If you want to purchase this, you can head over to mattsworkshop.net and uh, you'll be able to download it from there. 
and uh, if you haven't already press the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos and until next time take care cheers